Welcome to my kitchen, y'all. This is David Locke, and you're on my blog, Boots and Bow Ties, my blog about everything gardening and everything kitchen. I'm gonna make for you today my favorite pasta sauce. I call it my Tipsy Baptist Vodka Sauce. It does have a cup of vodka in it, but that's gonna cook off during the cooking process. This is one of the easiest pasta sauces to make. My wife loves it, my children love it, and has relatively few ingredients, but it does take a good bit of time. We're gonna start it on the stove top here in a moment, then it's gonna go into the oven for about an hour and a half. It's gonna come out of the oven and we're gonna finish it on the stove top by placing in our cream, fresh oregano, and our pasta. So allot yourself about two hours. I would say from maybe four to six if you're planning on serving it a little after six. Let's go through the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need a quarter of a cup of a good olive oil, a teaspoon and a half of dried oregano, as well as access to fresh oregano if you have it, when we finish it on the stove top. Some red pepper flake, this is a quarter teaspoon. You can even go a half a teaspoon if you like it really hot. I keep it a little uh, more mild since I do have children. Three to four cloves of garlic. Uh, I did four cloves because my cloves were fairly small. The, uh, an entire onion that has been cut up, this is a yellow onion. You're gonna need a cup of vodka. I use Absolute. Absolute has a really nice finish, it's very clean. You're gonna need a cup of cream. And then you're also gonna need two cans of plum tomatoes. And what I've done is I've actually put these over a sieve and I have crushed them. You wanna make sure you wear an apron because it does get very messy. I put it in the sink and drain it uh, of, of most of the, the liquid so it's a little bit dry. And then you're gonna need about three quarters of a pound of penne pasta. You can really use any pasta you like. I use penne. So now that you have all of your ingredients put out and set up, Let's take a look at what we do on the stove top. So I've chosen a skillet that has a lid uh, and you're going to want to be able to close this during the cooking process in the oven. So if you don't have one with a lid, don't worry. You can also put tin foil over it, but I find that a skillet with a lid works best for this. So I've got my pan set to medium heat and I'm just gonna pour in that olive oil and I'm gonna let it start heating. So now my oil has gotten pretty hot. I can feel some heat coming off of it. I'm gonna put in my onion. Make sure I get all of it in. And I'm gonna put in my garlic. And I'm gonna start the sweating process. We'll stir all that around. And we're gonna sweat this for about five minutes until this becomes translucent. Okay, so our onions and our garlic are looking really translucent. They're losing their white color. They're really cooking well. I got it on medium heat. Now I'm gonna sprinkle in my red pepper flake. It's amazing how much heat just that small amount of pepper gives this dish. And then we're gonna put in our teaspoon and a half of oregano. We're gonna cook it for one more minute just to make sure that's really good incorporated. And then we're gonna add in our vodka. Okay, now comes the time for the magic. We're gonna add in our cup of vodka. Stand back, uh, I've lost some olfactory nerves over the years doing this because there's a whole lot of alcohol that's gonna come out. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and you can see the sauce has really reduced here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our tomatoes and we're gonna just gently pour them in. Make sure we get all of that out behind me. Now I'm gonna stir that in. And just get all of it mixed together. And while we're doing that, let's put in two teaspoons of salt. This is a really cool uh, teaspoon measure. It's actually a two teaspoon measure. So it's in one scoop. You'd be amazed how much you use that. That'll be all the salt we'll need for this meal. And then we're gonna stir that together and get it really good incorporated. And then it's gonna go in to the oven. So now I've got my pasta sauce. I've covered it with a lid. I'm gonna pop that into the oven 375 for an hour and a half. If you don't have a lid that'll cover it, you can certainly use um, an aluminum foil. Just get it as tight as you can. In a minute, we'll take it out 
we'll go back to the stove top and we'll finish it up. So the pasta sauce is almost ready in the oven. I'm about ready to bring it over to the stove top and finish it with our cream, our cheese, and our fresh oregano. But in the interim, what we've got to do is we've got to prepare a pasta. So I've got a large pot on the stove that's boiling and I've salted it with about two tablespoons of salt. I've placed the lid on to help it boil more quickly. And then what we'll do after the sauce is finished, we'll incorporate both the pasta and the sauce together and we'll finish the vodka sauce. So we've just taken this out of the oven. This is how it's gonna look. You can see it's been sitting in there for about an hour and a half. And now we're gonna take this and we're gonna let the magic happen. So all I'm doing here is I'm just cutting up some fresh oregano from the garden. And I want about four tablespoons, two for the recipe. You see that's about two tablespoons. And I want about four for the entire uh, recipe because I wanna be able to use this as a garnish. Next, you wanna take your box grater and take some Parmesan cheese, take the box grater, just simply put it on a piece of paper towel. That's a great way to grate your cheese, it saves dirty in another plate, and then it makes it so easy to put it into the recipe because you can just simply make a little funnel. Just kinda of grate, uh, just kind of loosely grate here about a quarter to a half a cup. It's kind of based on your personal preference of how much cheese you'd like to put into the pasta. We're already putting so much cream in, it doesn't need a lot of cheese. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use the immersion blender to finish the pasta on the stove top. So now we've got the pasta out of the oven and we're gonna take the top of it off and then we're gonna use our immersion blender. And so basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get this completely pureed. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can work in batches, putting it into your food processor. Just remember, it's very hot, so use caution if you're using a food processor and not an immersion blender. So I'm just gonna take this and kinda of go up and down. Just making sure that I get all of the tomato nicely pureed. And then the next step, I'll show you how we finish it. So I finished pureeing, and now I'm gonna light the sauce and put a little bit of heat on it on the stove top again. I would say low to medium heat is pretty good. Then I'm gonna add my oregano that I have chopped really finely, minced really finely. And I'm gonna start working with my heavy cream. Try about a quarter of a cup at a time and just look at the consistency of it. At this point, you wanna begin tasting for salt and pepper and creaminess. I usually end up putting all of the cream in it, um, but it's really personal preference what you like. Then we're gonna let this simmer for about 10 more minutes. Then we're gonna put this pasta that we will drain over in here, stir it up, cook it for two more minutes, and then it's finally ready to serve. And all this time is really worth it. I promise it'll be the best pasta you've ever had. Okay, now to finish the sauce and finish the pasta. This is the pasta that I've cooked. The package said to cook it for 11 minutes. I cooked it for nine. When you're gonna ever take a pasta and put it inside of a sauce, what you wanna generally do is cook the pasta for two minutes less than it says on the package. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stir this in, I'm gonna let it heat through, and then we're gonna serve it. And there you have it, penny pasta with vodka sauce. It's well worth the wait. Serve it with a little extra Parmesan cheese and a beautiful glass of wine. And the family will love you for it. Bon appetit.